Hey, if you're like me, you're finding it harder and harder to make a living driving for Uber and Lyft after they've been cutting rates and cutting bonuses. Um, so you need something to fill in that gap in the middle of the day, especially. I've found a great new service that could help you earn some extra income and you'll have a great time doing it. Make sure that you stick around to the end of this video so I can share all my tips and tricks for how to maximize your earnings with this great new opportunity. Hi, I'm Gabe Etzhoken with The Rideshare Guy, and today I'm going to tell you about YoGov. What is YoGov? Well, YoGov is a concierge service for uh, government things like the DMV and the passport office. Uh, what you can do is you can go to YoGov and you can sign up for all kinds of things through the YoGov website. You can uh, get an appointment or concierge service to help you get your passport. Um, you can get a, a line standard, a stand in line for you if you want to go to the DMV yourself. Or you can do what I do, and that is get a concierge to take you to the DMV and uh, help you practice for the DMV driving test. And then use that concierge's car so that you can take and pass the uh, DMV driving test. YoGov was started in 2016 by Ryder Pierce. You may recognize that name. He's the guy that started uh, Sherpa Share, which is a, a very useful series set of, pro of uh, driver tools for rideshare drivers. So he thought, oh, why not have uh, rideshare drivers take people to the DMV and uh, help them pass uh, and get their driver's license. So it's great for that. Uh, you can sign up and get your and get a driver and car to take you to the DMV to take the test with you. It's about a three hour job for about $160 here in California. They have it available in other states, uh, New York, Massachusetts, uh, Georgia, I think. Um, and they want to expand to all 50 states. Um, you can be picked up up to 30 miles from the DMV um, and taken back to the same spot. That works out not so good for drivers sometimes. I'll tell you more about that. So, but how do you sign up for, for YoGov if you're interested and you want to do it? Well, you go to the YoGov website and uh, you click on the onboard link or the sign up to be a driver link uh, in the like employment opportunities section of their website. Make sure you use our code, RSG100. And uh, and then it's going to be an onboard process, kind of similar to other gig work uh, onboarding processes. Uh, however, they do have a phone interview procedure. So you'll talk to somebody. I did pretty good on that phone interview. and uh, But then it was uh, just standard onboarding uh, where you upload documents. Uh, you had to do a live scan because you're working with the public in California. That's just fingerprinting, but it wasn't hard at all, except they did make me redo it several times. It took a few weeks, um, but maybe if I'd been more proactive, it wouldn't have taken as long. Anyway, after I was onboarded, you get a link, you, you get a link for the uh, YoGov driver app, and then uh, you can book tips trips through the, the uh, YoGov drivers app. How does it work? You uh, download that app, you get set up for text alerts, and then you follow instructions uh, after you accept the trips. You follow the instructions uh, in the trips to go meet the passenger, pick them up, you drive to the DMV, you show them the test route. YoGov has great videos on what the what the test route can look like. I found out that those videos are actually not very accurate, but that's not YoGov's fault. That is an issue with the, uh, with the DMV itself. They change their test routes. It might be up to the examiner. I, I don't know how they, how they determine the test routes anyway. In any case, after they practiced, you go in, you check in for the drive test. The passenger takes the drive test. Um, about 70% of the time, in my experience, they pass the drive test. And then uh, they get their driver's license, and then you take them home. If they don't pass, they can book another appointment through YoGov, through the DMV. Maybe you'll get the same passenger again. I've, I've done one passenger a couple times, and, uh, and then they pass the second time. So that was very gratifying. Um, some customers have no business driving a car. They need to practice. They need to go to a driving school. YoGov is not a driving school. If your passenger, your client doesn't know how to drive and it's obvious to you, then cancel the trip and, trip and take them home. It's not worth uh, them damaging your car or freaking you out. You don't need that kind of stress in your life. So now you want to know how much money you make. Well, I get paid about $80 for the, the basic ride. It's supposed to take about three hours. Sometimes it can take two hours, and that's great. Now you've made 40 bucks an hour. Sometimes it can take three and a half, four hours, and that's not so fun. If it takes a really long time, YoGov has told me that they will actually um, 
uh, you know, throw something on, a little something extra on there um, to compensate you for the extra time that you spent. Sometimes, because those are those are things that are out of your control. The DMV might be running late. Um, if you go to the DMV on a Friday, uh, some they're government employees and they like to call in sick because uh, wouldn't you? And in any case, um, that's a uh, that's that's an opportunity for you. So it, it's a little better, uh, I think, twenty seven bucks, twenty eight bucks an hour, um, than uh, Uber or Lyft, especially in the middle of the day when you're making more like seventeen, <clears throat> eighteen dollars an hour, especially after expenses. Um, the uh, no show fee also is a hundred percent. So if that passenger doesn't show up. Um, then uh, and you're there and you're ready to go and they can't make it for whatever reason you're going to get paid your whole 80 bucks so that that could make it worth it right there should you do it uh there's a lot of flexibility you pick and choose the jobs that you want that make sense for you um i get tipped more frequently than i get tipped with uber and lyft you get better pay during the day also you get uh, a better experience with the customer you build a little relationship with them you make a difference in their lives you meet a lot of interesting people from all over the world i've had uh, clients from france from england from south africa from thailand from china a lot from china uh, a lot of people from india uh people from germany like it they're really great people and uh, I, i've really enjoyed working with them some of the downsides it's a little exploitative insurance is pretty iffy um, here's their policy on insurance. We maintain a simple, straightforward policy to protect both our concierges and our clients. Whenever you're at the wheel, you and your insurance are responsible. Whenever the client is at the wheel, the client is responsible. Does the client have insurance? I don't know. Probably not. If you hit somebody, if their client hits somebody with your car, guess who's responsible? The registered owner of the vehicle. And uh, does your insurance cover you while you're doing a yoga trip? I don't think so. I've I looked into a little bit. My insurance probably won't cover me. Uh, maybe yours won't either. So it's a gray area. And if you're not much of a risk taker, this probably isn't the thing for you to do. Does your rideshare gap insurance cover this? No, no, it doesn't. Because this isn't rideshare. It's not transportation, right? It's something else. Who knows what it is? Um, I think Ryder and his team at Yoga are good people. And they take care of their concierges. They, they care about us. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. And, uh, you know, should you do this? Should you do yoga? I think you should give it a try if you think this is something that could work out well for you. Um, if you uh, pick your trips carefully and you're lucky that the DMV isn't running too late, you can actually make pretty good money. Uh, I don't think you're going to make a consistent living at it unless there's really a lot of trips in your area. Silicon Valley in California is actually uh, pretty busy with yoga trips. But um, everywhere else, I get I average about two trips a week. So it's worth it. I make okay money. Uh, Yoga is not going to make you rich, but it's fun. It's an interesting way to meet new people. And uh, I think you should give it a try. If you like this video, I want you to subscribe. And if you sign up for Yoga, I want you to use our link, RSG100. And thanks so much for watching my video. Thanks for watching Rideshare Guy videos. And remember, don't drive yourself crazy.